Hello, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Well, I thought today I would work on the Little House on the Prairie Journal. It's getting very close to being finished. And we're in the third signature, which is the last signature. And um, this is my journal that I am making for a giveaway when I get to a thousand subscribers. And it's for US only, I'm sorry. Um, but this will be given away. So I've got lots of videos on it. The last time we worked on this, we were right here working on these two. And we're going to add a little bit more to this page. So I'm going to set this aside. Um, these are the pictures that are for today. Fresh water to drink. We're going to come down here. And I was trying to think of a different way to do my pockets. And I have this die. It's, I didn't know what I got it, that it was like, you know, you make journal pages with it. Like to go in a journal, it cuts the holes. But we're, we're going to figure that out today. So I have this piece that's in it. Um, bolt up. And I think it, but that is not even because it's not even with those holes. So we're not going to use the holes, but I want my thing to be straight. <laughs> around it's around so that makes your pocket so then I cut these that we're going to glue on here so that you've got a pretty backside I need to cut that one down just a little bit more So what I did is I just turned my paper over and cut it on the back side and that made it for this. So I need to do some inking real quick. We'll get that done. And I'm just going to use gathered twigs. That's what I've used all throughout this journal. I haven't worked on this for a while and I'm sorry, I just have it. <laughs> I have to be in the right frame of mind to do it because I don't want to mess it up. I want it to be good. When I'm doing my own stuff, if I mess it up, it's no big deal, you know. It's just paper. But if I mess this journal up, then somebody's going to get a messed up journal and I don't think that that would be much appreciated. It wouldn't be much of a prize. <laughs> To, um, run the part of it through twice because I have the long cutting plates but I don't have a long the thicker the A or whatever the, the top one um, my uh, big shot was a friend of mine so she's passed away sadly um, and she had a box die that's the thick thick dies you know and so she had that and the long plates to go with that, but not the long plate. I thought, oh, I'll just buy me one. And then I saw the prices and I've just never done it yet because I hardly have any dies that I need to do this with. So, so far I've just made it work because if I had a bunch, but I think I've got three dies that I have to use the long plate with. And one of them is a Christmas die that I hardly ever use. So, and then one of them has the alphabet on it, so I just pick and choose and do the alphabet letters that I need anyway, so. Okay, so this one goes on here, we'll glue this down.
And you do have to be a subscriber to win the journal. I'd appreciate it if you didn't subscribe to win and then unsubscribe, but we'll let you do. <laughs> this because it wants to show. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. Okay, so we'll put some glue back here. where I don't want it. I got this for other dies that came with it. But, you know, why not use it, right? At least try. glue this on here first. Well, that's going to be fun. Let me make sure it fits. I don't have to cut anything off. It's not wanting to go down in there. I wonder if I can peel that open. There's my little... Huh. Oh, there it is right in front of my face. That's where usually my stuff is. I just can't seem to see it until I turn off the camera and then I'm like, well, there it is. Okay. Let's say thank you to everybody that's been watching and leaving comments. That's so kind of you to do. I really appreciate it. And I enjoy your comments. I like to hear about your life too. How you doing? should have glued the pictures on there before I glued it together. Boy, I'm batting a thousand, aren't I? Okay, <laughs> so these will go on our page like this. And these are movable. If, you know, whoever gets this wants this in another spot that they can, that's no problem. So let's, um, I think I will tear these pages, or these pictures. And I have my brush, there it is. Yeah. I better make sure I got all my watercolor out of it. Ooh, I'm glad I did that. It was black watercolor in there. Ooh, that wouldn't have been good. <laughs> okay. And if you, um, 
run a line of water on your book page, it helps it to cut where you want it to cut. Go very far ahead it dries. Got way too much squeezed out there. Yesterday I had to take my husband into the doctor and it was town-wide yard sales. He's having a reaction to um, his whatever they use when they did his test. So he wasn't like, you know, contagious sick. I didn't want you to think, oh great, went to the doctor and then went to garage sales. Um, but we went to the garage sales and we saw one sign. I said, oh honey, we gotta go to that garage sale. And it was the house that I grew up in. And so that was fun going and talking to her and she was telling me all the changes she's made to the house. And then it was so funny because um, she had named her her child our last name, my maiden name. But she said she didn't think about it till afterwards and then she thought, wait a minute, what was the name of the people I bought this house from? <laughs> and she, she looked it up. It, she thought that was really funny. I did too. I said I thought it was cute. <laughs> but it was fun. She's done a lot of updating, which it, you know, a young couple would want to because um, I need to cut that down a little bit on that side. Because um, before we moved in, mom and dad totally remodeled it. it and but I was nine years old, so that would have been, what, 66? So between, like, 64 and 66, they remodeled it. It took a while, because my dad did it all by himself. So, um, yeah, you know, it needed... I can see why a young couple would want to totally remodel it. I'm trying to decide. Let me show you how this looks. Can't see him at all. So I don't know if I should make it fit here. I kind of think I should. It'd be okay to have some of that cut off, which I shouldn't have this glued together. And I don't know if I can still get these undone. But let's try it again. <laughs> I think I can. You know what? I'm putting that on the wrong side anyway. It goes on this side because it's before. Because she's drawing water out and that's before. Because I don't think the other side I'll have to do this to. I don't know. That's not, I'm tearing it up. We're going to just try to figure it out. Because I'm tearing it up. And I don't have any more of this pink paper, and I want pink paper. Okay, so. I will. Where's my brush go? There it is. What I'm going to do is tear it across here. I 
got some fun stuff at the art sale. I didn't really get anything for scrapbooking or journaling. We didn't go to very many because he was not feeling the best. Okay, so now this one I need to let me see if I can. I'm going to use my fingernail here and go, or maybe I could use this to go along the edge. I think I'm going along the edge. I'm not sure. Yeah, I am. Okay. So I'm just, I don't know if I was in view. I'm just putting this along the edge of that pocket. And then I'm going to take my pen and my water and go along that line that I made. Oops, I got a lot of water dropped there. And I don't think I'm taking off anything terribly important to the picture. Yeah, I don't like how that's, I want that more rounded than straight there. Crumbs. They're not crumbs. <laughs> Scraps. <laughs> okay. I think I'm still going to have to cut off a little bit down there, but we'll go ahead and we'll glue that down. I'm going to let it dry a little bit and do the other side before I try to glue it. And I'll just um, glue this down, back down for the how many time. Okay, so now this one, I think, should be okay. Get back up there. I keep getting out of view, I think. just fine. Okay, I'll move this one up, let that dry just a second. Put my pen on that, my water pen, or water brush. Now 
I think what I'll do is just fold that up. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Well, I hope it's okay. Okay, now let me wipe up my ink. Try to wipe my hands down a little bit. I think when I glue these down, no, I can't do the sides because I'm going to have lace there. I think I will leave this as a pocket in case somebody, you know, whoever gets this wants to use it. And it would be a good hidden pocket, really. You could slide something back there because with this paper clip here, if you leave it here, um, you wouldn't think to look back there necessarily. So. Just going to leave it as an option. I like to leave pockets as an option because, you know, you don't have to use them, but you might want them. And then they're there. Okay. And on this side, oops, I put a little bit of glue underneath there. have a granddaughter wanting a little house on the prairie journal so I told her as soon as I get this one done I will make her one she's at that right age where she kind of discovered a little house well she knew that I liked it and she started reading it and plus I had given her older sister one and given her older sister the book when she was about that age so she's now discovered that, hey, I like that. Okay, then what we're going to do, I hope I have enough of this. Yeah, I should have. We're going to put this. Maybe we will just go down the whole page instead. I was just going to go there. But maybe we'll do, well, maybe. Let me make sure. I'll fold this. Oh, yeah, I got plenty. Okay. Let me get my fabric scissors and I think I'm going to take this out of here at least take these pages out so I don't accidentally do something to those sure the whole point of this is to cover up those holes I think that's crooked but that's too late now so I'm going to make sure that that's where my glue line goes side of the line. I had a feeling when my hand was shaking that I did that. Let's see if I can get that off of there. My hand was shaking and I moved the I moved that gun as I was laying down the glue. Okay, well, I have one other thing I thought I'd do, so it'll be okay. Okay.
Now, cut this off. And I hope my other idea goes because it will cover up that glue. I hope it works. Like, looks okay. I mean, <coughs> excuse me. I'm working on another cold. I don't like it at all. stained or aged I guess and I thought what I would do is put it along there and that's going to look pretty I like that so that's what we're going to do I love the old Rick Rack I think it feels different than the new it's softer Now this I will glue with this glue because it's hard to hot glue rickrack I think without getting it on the where you don't want it. I think it's hard. So Yikes. Ah. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm putting glue on the rickrack if you can't. Now I'm going to put this right along this edge here. glue all over my mat. It'll come right off of this um, mat. <laughs> it's being difficult. So, this is how it looks. Thank you for joining me today. You have a blessed day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.